Welcome back to Ozarks Fox AM. Our guests today are Mark Davis, or Stormy, as some of us call him, the GM for the Springfield Semi Pro football team, and also Caleb, who is the owner of the team. Now, Stormy, what is the name of the team? We are the Queen City Insane Asylum. Okay, now uh, you've got to tell us where this <laughs> name came from. Go ahead, boss. So, uh, so when we looked at this about a year ago, we were um, we were trying to plan a color scheme and, and an idea of what we wanted the the culture of the team to look like. Mm -hmm. And so, a lot of times people focus on this fierce, intense idea of a logo and a mascot and a name and all this. And we just thought, how how much fun would it be to beat a team and then send them home and then have to report, hey, we got beat by some guys in pink that oh. said they were the Queen City Insane Asylum <laughs> and they beat us by like 50 points, you know? So like, it was kind of one of those things that we enjoyed yeah. as like a... It's a mental warp. Kind yeah, of thing. absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay, so this, I'm just fascinated by this. I'm, I know I look like a football player, but I'm not. <laughs> uh, tell me where this came from. You're semi-pro. It's here in Springfield. Where do you play games and how do people get involved? Like, I've not, I've not heard of this, to be honest with you, so I'm excited sure. you're yeah. here. Sure. Well, it's our inaugural season, and uh, we started out in one league, and we had to transfer to another one, but we've been playing our home games out at Cy Sports in Nixa, okay. down in the valley by Summers at the River. And they've got a nice football field facility for us to use and uh, real friendly for the fans because there's kind of tiers mm -hmm. up the hillside so people can sit and social distance now with what we're dealing with mm -hmm. and still enjoy some live football. So it's just been the first season. It's still growing. We're still trying to get the name out there as much as we can. Oh. So Semi Pro's been kind of like a, a sector of, of sports forever. Mm -hmm. um, but unfortunately, sometimes Semi Pro has not the greatest light. Uh, sometimes semi-pro means semi-pro management and organization. Mm -hmm. uh, we've tried to change that a lot this last yeah. year and really putting out a quality product, um, both physically with sports, but also socially and communally with, with what we do for Springfield itself. Mm -hmm. um, so semi-pro has just kind of been something that some guys either from high school, college, or even that have played previously and aren't playing anymore have been able to come back and kind of relive some dreams. Oh. Where do you recruit your play players from? Yeah. Our players come from all over the place, and Caleb can tell you, that, I mean, we're all kinds of states away. So it, it's cool. We, we normally, in a semi-pro setting, you have to do a lot of recruiting. Uh, we didn't spend a lot of time or, or effort on recruiting. We just spent a lot of time on our brand and our product. And as we did that, a lot of guys started to come. You know, ah. word of mouth in, mm -hmm. in the semi-pro circuit said, hey, there's a team out of Springfield. They're doing a lot of really cool things that's unique to semi-pro. Um, you might check it out. And so we had guys call us and say, hey, I played college ball with this guy. He wants to come out and give it a look. And so we'd let guys come out. And if they were uh, able to fit our brand and our, our program, we let them have a shot and went from there. So what is the age range of players then? Because these are, <laughs> like, that uh, to yeah, me is fascinating because you said yeah. people re trying to recreate, relive their dreams, which I admire so much. So uh, our team is probably the most unique in the largest age range because we have a 18-year-old uh, that plays for us. Mm -hmm. And we have a 62-year-old. Oh, plays my plays goodness. Us. I gotta applaud the 62-year-old. The 62-year-old happens to be his dad. Oh, that, just, yeah, that's that. amazing. That is fantastic. Wow, I'm yeah, so impressed I'm, with that. I'm so glad to be hearing about this because and we got a good father figure role with with uh, Kevin, and plus these are just good young men. You know, one of the reasons I signed on was because there's a moral clause with these with this team. And when the kitchen lost their food stores to the fire while back, the Queen City Asylum stepped in and helped them replenish that. Whenever the Vietnam Traveling War Memorial came through, these guys went out and helped set it up. And once they're given that kind of a commitment to the community, mm -hmm. that's a good thing all around to help build everything up around us and therefore to help build the team as well. So that's part of what you do. You help the community. Exactly. Yeah, so uh, this whole thing was kind of interesting. We started with a group um, called Mandays, and it was a men's outreach program. Just to take guys and, and teach them how to be better oh, um, socially, so great. emotionally, help them build resumes, dress for an interview, um, create healthy relationships in their home. Mm -hmm. um, and as a result of that, like this football team kind of grew out of the same uh, mindset. And so for the guys to come on, you know, being a Saturday guy who was a good athlete is a dime or dozen. Mm -hmm. So what we wanted was were men that could um, give young kids that came out and watched you play something to model after, not guys that, you know, you were only be like them on the field, but not like them off the field. Right. So we've, we've really oh. tried to invest in who they are as people as well. This. So with this, with this league, now I'm, I'm thinking about the game. So you're the Queen City Insane Asylum. Mm -hmm. What other teams throughout the country, do you guys travel? Do they all play yeah. here? How do you guys organize the games to get the schedule set and where can fans come and see sure. you? Sure. So with, with, the, with the COVID schedule, everything's been super crazy this year. 
So for an inaugural season, it's been a roller coaster. Mm -hmm. uh, we've managed to play 11 games. Tomorrow's our 12th and final game. It's our oh, championship man. game uh, for our, our league. Um, but we've actually been able to play teams uh, from, a, from a decent range. Mm -hmm. Omaha, Nebraska, um, Aurora, Missouri. St. Louis. St. Louis, uh, Northwest Arkansas, Oklahoma City. There's just been a lot of different teams. Um, but for 2021, it'll be a little bit more crisp and clear on a schedule mm -hmm. since yeah. hopefully all of this kind of levels out a little bit. Um, okay. So yeah. your, your last game is tomorrow, yes. and it's a home game. Yes, we play for the IDFL Eight Man Outdoor National Championship okay. tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. This At is what great. time? What time? 7 p.m. kickoff. 7, 7 p.m. kickoff. I wish we had gotten you guys in here earlier. This is so great, but we're excited for next season. And Please come you, back next season. Yeah, Please. and we you've will. got a Facebook page. Yep, the Queen City Insane Asylum on Facebook. All right, that's going to be Can great. I also just point out that Caleb's arms, look at Caleb's <laughs> arms, are bigger than my leg. <laughs> bigger than my leg. I am jealous and I feel Jeremy, really... Jeremy, you have until next year to work out. They might take a look at you next year. We okay? got a trial coming up. Of course, you, right. we'll get it. These guys can start singing and they can start intimidating us. So, you know, I'm fast. I'm wired. Ways. Thank you, Stormy and Caleb, so much. We appreciate you. Exciting stuff. Thanks for having stuff. us. Awesome. Great Thanks stuff. All okay. right, thank you. I'm going to try out. I'm out of breath already. Coming up, Kaylee has another animal who needs a forever home in this week's Furry friend Friday. We'll be right back. Oh my gosh, I'm exhausted already. Just Are been you doing tired? That. Just like, okay, what? Like, you gonna get me? You gonna get me? Look, look, look. I'm wiry.